and welcome to my channel. My name is Rashonda King. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I am gonna make a floating teddy bear with balloons. Someone requested that I do this about a week ago. So I don't have the traditional colors. I'm gonna use a teddy bear that I have. So I'm gonna let you see what I have. So I have this teddy bear that my husband got me for like a Valentine's Day. So you will probably want one that's a little bit plain, that doesn't have this red, red ribbon with hearts and doesn't have a heart um, underneath his foot. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use red balloons to kind of coordinate with it. But you wanna make sure you use the colors that coordinate with your, your baby shower. So I have, I'm gonna suggest that you use Qualitex balloons or Sempertex balloons. Make sure you use quality balloons because uh, when I'm in, intertwining the balloons, you wanna make sure you have some quality balloons or they will deflate on you. So this is what I have for my balloons. I might add some five inch Qualitex in. Also, I have um, these like command hooks some fishing line, some ribbon, scissors, and lastly, my balloon pump. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with blowing up the balloons. So let's get started. I'm trying to make them close in size as possible, but you're making duplets like this, and you're gonna make six of those. Press them against you to give them that rounder shape. Okay, so then you should have six of these pairs and then you're gonna take them and you're gonna start in, intertwining them like that. And then you just add more and more duplets in. You do wanna pay attention to the shape because as you do this, you wanna make sure you insert it so that it has like a, a ball shape. Pay attention to like the shape of it. So you can make sure it has like a round, a round shape to it. Like I can tell that there's like a gap here. So I'm gonna add one in right there in that middle. And it can get difficult to put these in. And don't, even if you have to intertwine them to kind of lock them in the middle, do so, and then like I can kind of tell I need to put one here because it's an opening. And you wanna make sure you're using quality balloons because they, they can pop on you if, if they are not quality. So I'm looking at the shape of it, it's not like a circle, so I'm gonna keep twisting them until I get that the shape that I want. So you want to, I'm, I'm twisting it so that I get that circle shape that I'm looking for. And I close up the holes. Now you cannot do this with cheap balloons. Now I've seen somebody explain it a little bit different, but that's what I just noticed. I just kind of look at the shape of it to give it that round shape. So now it looks like a, a ball. Okay. So now I'm gonna add the fishing line to it to be able to hang it from the ceiling. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my command hook on my ceiling. Now, you can, if you're afraid of it damaging your ceiling, you can put, I've seen somebody put masking tape first and then put it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it because my husband, if it gets damaged, he knows how to fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that above. So this is the command hook that has the ability to move. So that's what I'm gonna put in the cell. So it's up to you how long a fishing line you wanna use. I am not sure of what pound this one is. I'm not sure because I got this in like a balloon kit. So depending on how far I want my teddy bear to hang, so that will be up to you at the length of this fishing line. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tear off a nice piece. Cut it. And then I'm just gonna kinda wrap it or bring it through my balloons. Okay, I got it through my balloons. And then I'm just gonna tie a, a knot like right here, or let me see, I'm gonna just tie it here to lock it. I'm gonna double knot it just to make it secure. Okay, and then I'm gonna just attach this to my command hook and I will show you how I do that. So this is how I tied it. I brought it through that little um, slit there and I double tied it and that's how I have it attached. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my gold ribbon and I'm just gonna cut it into strips and this is what I'm gonna tie on to the teddy bear, the teddy bear's arm, to make it appear that he's holding the balloon. So I'm gonna make sure I cut off a couple of strips. A nice amount of strips of this here. So that's what I'm about to do now. Make sure you make long strips and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these strips. And I want to make them around the same length. So I created about four of these. They're very, very long because I'm going to take them over this and through it. I got to be careful. So it can appear that he's holding on to the balloons here. So I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And then you can use as many as you want here. So then I'm going to take him, but you're taking the balloons, this, this string here, and you're going to tie it around his hand. big teddy bear so something like that so this is what I have I did end up shortening that string um, a little bit more so you can shorten it as you see fit and have it be the length that you will have it to be but this is how you make a floating teddy bear I will list and link all the items in the description below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for joining me today. Until I see you next time, bye.